Hey everybody, Isaac Wardell here. I wanted to give you a quick tip today on PowerPoint and screencast. Now the standard PowerPoint that many of us use looks something like this. It's a little square and when we export it and upload it to YouTube it looks something like this where we got this square and we've got these black lines on each side. And that's because this is done in what we call in the film world a 4-3 ratio. Now widescreen is actually a 16-9 ratio. Don't worry, you don't have to remember all of those. Basically you can just remember what's standard and then widescreen. It's really probably the easiest way to keep track of that. So I'm going to show you how to change your PowerPoint from the standard 4-3 ratio to the 16-9 which is the widescreen. All you got to do is come up here to your design tab, click page setup, and you'll see here a slide sized for on screen show 4 3 ratio. And all we got to do is drop that down and put on screen show 16 9. And immediately it changes the size, and uh, the templates and everything will still work with that. So it'll make it really nice when you export it and upload it to YouTube. It'll show a full screen, which will show a much uh, more professional screencast than the old 4-3 ratio really put you on the cutting edge. Now here's the other cool thing I'm going to show you and that's if you want this to be your default setting. They, it by default becomes the 16-9 or the widescreen then all you got to come do is come up here go file save as and when it pops up, just select this little drop down and select PowerPoint template right here. All right, and it's going to bring you to this folder where the templates are stored. And just take out this presentation one and put in blank dot p t o x if your um pardon me p o t x which stands for PowerPoint basically 2007 through through 2010 versions and then just click save alright now if I close this out and then I reopen PowerPoint you can see now it defaults to that 16-9 ratio and you can make other changes too for instance if you always use a certain design etc you can just save it over top of that old blank template etc if you like this video, I have a whole bunch more cool stuff at my website, IsaacAWardell.com. If you want to just head over there and put in your opt-in information, I'll give you access to all of my cool stuff. I look forward to seeing you over there. Thanks for watching.